What's up? This is Dazzler86 and I'm joined by Monster X Rapids and Wolfrain88 and we're going to be talking about games that you should have on your Christmas list for 2015. We're going to kick it off with Chris. What would you like to see on your Christmas list, Chris? No Man's Sky. Yeah, No Man's Sky is not coming out till June, mate, so... Oh, there's my Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas in June this year. <laughs> I don't know, there's not much I'm looking forward to. It was just No Man's Sky, and that was, yeah. I mean, all the games that, that I was looking forward to have been pushed back till till next year, so there's not much here. All right, well, you got to be excited about Siege, surely. Everyone's excited about Siege. Uh, yeah. Rainbow Six Siege has got to be up there, it's mate. It's all right, it's all right. Tactical Shooter. I mean, you're looking forward to that one, aren't you? Yep. Beta was absolutely fantastic. A lot of way it played a, out. Yeah, and I've had a look at the new characters that are, well, not new characters, but the characters that weren't included in the beta. Mm. And they look they look game changing because there was a few sort of characters that are questionable to say the least. But having yeah. seen the new characters coming out, you can see how they play off against each other. So they kind of, they're a bit more relative. Like, um, what was the one that could detect, uh, like, traps and electronics and IQ, that. IQ? IQ, yeah. IQ. And then you've got a new one in there that sets booby traps and stuff, so IQ's going to be sort of more towards the forefront of the playable characters rather than being the one that no one ever, no one wanted to play. Um, maps on that look amazing. Like, really, really well set out. Um, it, it does look good, I mean, to be honest, but... Um... I don't know. It's how, how many different classes are are, are there going to be? Twenty. There's twenty. Twenty. Twenty playable classes. Yeah. So no you, have, you have to learn how to play with uh, a a class or a character. And if somebody picks that one, you're shit out of luck because then you have to pick your backup. And if somebody picks your fucking backup, then you're shit out of luck again. Yeah, but. That's that's the key to that game, and that's probably the only letdown is that you really want to play with four other friends and mm. you all want to get familiar with sort of two or three classes because even if you have a favorite class you're going to come up against enemies and they're they're going to play it different so you might want to pick a different class do you know what i mean yeah so it's not just one class conquers all uh, they've down i think you said didn't you Owen? they've downgraded riot shields now like the yeah, the uh, hip pistol. accuracy of the, uh, the pistol, pistol as well. Yeah. Your uh, hip fire with the right shield has been decreased by seventy five percent. That is because that was OP. Okay. That is needed as well because yeah, like you say, that was OP. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone just wanted to run shields. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. But no, there's a there's a few interesting classes, and although there's no single player, they've they've said they're doing something like single player missions now, um, and it's it's plays out a bit more like a tutorial where you get to play as yeah, uh, some you, of the key classes. You get to sharpen get your to skills them. basically in those single yeah. player menus or missions. Yeah, no, this for me that's that's up there on my Christmas list. That's that's probably a close number one for me. And the only one that I'm sort of swaying towards slightly is Battlefront. And that's that's gotta be on the Christmas list is Battlefront. The mm. beta was amazing. Mm. Those sounds and visuals, by far the best that's hit PS4 so far. Yeah, but I mean, there have to be people like me that say, well, it's not really a, a galactic battle of epic proportions between thousands and thousands. It's just a small team of you and your friends versus somebody else and their friends, in my eyes at least. It is, but the way they've done it, it feels epic. It feels know. bigger than it is, and well, the whole thing about there not being space battles and flying around, and there, there is a game mode that is literally just um, like air combat. Yeah, and there's always room for improvement with DLC. You know, it's, mm, it's the I biggest guess. like cash cow for developers at the moment is DLC. It's keeping people playing, additional sort of income coming through. I just, yeah, Battle, Battlefront was amazing. Hmm. It's alright. 
And uh, yeah, I suppose the other one that's got to make the Christmas list is Fallout 4. <laughs> <laughs> See, just the mention of it. And Owen, Owen's wetting himself. Go on then, Owen, tell us why you're looking forward to it. Because Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas were both my favourite games playing in the last few years. And that's all um, we have for about Fallout 4. <laughs> Um. <laughs> no, seriously, no, go ahead, go ahead. Like, I, I've never played a Fallout, so would I have to backtrack and play no, through the other Fallouts just to get the hang of this one? No, you wouldn't actually have to backtrack and play the other ones. They're all, all branching off in unique cities. This one's set in, I want to say Boston. I think it's Boston. Right. And yeah, it looks amazing. They've come out and revealed a load of the new features, like you can build your own strongholds in your bases. Um, they've improved the combat, so it's more focused towards first-person shooters instead of just aim, shoot. You know, you can take cover and all this. Um, and okay. another thing so that's really a little bit more interactive. Yeah. And another thing that's excited me is the fact, the fact that they're bringing up mod support for the consoles. And obviously, that's a, I think that's a first. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the first. The developers Normally kind of said, you know, PC. we're going to support mods for this game, which is good because it adds that replayability, you know, you're not going to get bored of the game quickly, even though it's a 300-hour campaign, they say. And that, that, that is all there is, isn't it? It's just a campaign. Yeah. There's no multiplayer. Like, where we had Siege that didn't really have a single player. This hasn't got any multiplayer at all, has it? It's just chucking no. you in there and explore for like a Skyrim sort of base game big open well, world when, when you've got that much content there's no need for a multiplayer okay? it would be nice to hop in with your mates or whatever but if you've got so much to play the more they bring out for it the harder it's going to be to keep up I don't know yeah. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about Fallout I've never played a Fallout neither have I'm I quite intrigued by this one this is the only one that I've sort of looked at and gone hmm might give this a go so for Owen's sake We'll let that make the Christmas list. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Got to say it. Black Ops 3. I know it's not a crowd favourite amongst insert this mm -hmm. game. There's a couple of us that are massively hyped and then everyone else is like, uh, Call of Duty. Mm. For me, it's the zombies. It's the only thing that's keeping me interested. I think Treyarch are the only studio keeping Call of Duty alive at the moment. And for that reason, I'll be playing it. Multiplayer, the beta for me just wasn't doing it. I know a lot of people preferred it over Advanced Warfare, and for me, Advanced War Warfare was dog shit. Um, but I didn't think it was that much of a change. I still don't like all this futuristic stuff. It doesn't feel like it fits Call of Duty. I mean, if, if, if Battlefield done that, People go mental. It just doesn't <laughs> feel like it. Do you know what I mean? You don't. Yeah. You don't see jetpacks in <laughs> battle, battlefield, do you? Um, I don't know. What are you two thinking on Black Ops? Yeah. Chris. Um. Yeah. It's it's Black Ops is is dead in my eyes. Though the only one that really was good was the, the first Black Ops. Black Ops Two, I thought was crap. And uh, the zombies whoa, whoa, whoa. in general. Black Ops, Black Ops Two was crap, or yeah, just the multiplayer. Because I mean, I love zombies on Black Ops Two. That oh no, no, the, the, the zombies is alright. Zombies is alright. That's all I was oh, gonna right. say. The zombies oh, right. in general is is. You know, what do you mean all right, all right? Yes, all right. <laughs> zombies oh, in general um, is pretty good for the you know the whole Treyarch industry, but that's about it. Like I, like I was telling Darren a couple of days ago, if they literally brought out just zombie maps that you can download and play without buying the full game, they'd make a lot more money with that than with the full game itself. Yeah, I can kind of agree to that. And I, I don't think it's helping now that you haven't just got two studios working on Call of Duty. You've got Sledgehammer, um, you've got Infinity Ward, and Treyarch. The next Treyarch game is effectively going to be in three years' time, and within that time, this, I just don't hold much hope for Call of Duty remaining. Mm. That's a long time to wait for the A-Team to produce another game. <laughs> <laughs>
Another game that you should definitely have on your Christmas list is Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Buy it. I wasn't originally going to buy it. Having played through it, it's far better than Unity, Assassin's Creed 3, um, Black Flag. I know Black Flag was a favourite with you, Owen, but yep. for me, the series hasn't been right since we lost Ezio. Um, <laughs> this time round, another game that's totally got rid of multiplayer. It seems to have benefited them so much because the campaign is much more solid. I, I've really enjoyed playing through it. I know Owen's like one trophy away from a platinum now, and he's been smashing his sweaty little. <laughs> you socks still haven't gotten that trophy? <laughs> no, I got that one. All right, all right. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I've really enjoyed it. What do you think about it, Owen? I think it is. I don't know. It is on level with Black Flag, in my opinion. Like you said, the campaign is just it's brilliant. There's so much content and so much like so many things you can do. Like there's it's not easy to run out of things to do. When the, when it's, they announced that there would be no as well, isn't it? Yeah. When they said there's going to be no multiplayer, I was like, oh, all right, yeah, multiplayer in Assassin's Creed. I've never really been a big fan. But when they said they're moving co-op, I was like, well, what are they doing? That's that's the only sort of like, I've never been a fan of multiplayer, but I think co-op would have been nice, especially because in Syndicate you can play as either of the twins. You've got the two, yeah, the the two there. That even if it wasn't sort of four-player co-op, maybe just a two-player co-op where you could have a friend jump in as play as the other twin while you're playing, yeah, as one of them, and and have set missions just for co-op like they did with Unity, although it was slightly broken. It would have been nice to introduce that again. <laughs> yeah. That unity hate. <laughs> uh, it, was, it wasn't hate, it was just it was frustration more than anything. It, mm. I think we all bought unity, didn't we? And we yes, was all psyched for the co-op side of it. You get on, um, the club system was broken, didn't work. Mm -hmm. um, co-op missions were a bit glitchy. Everyone just like spammed the raids, I think it was, where you stole the most expensive paintings, yeah. got you... They gave you, you the got max your best amount of weapon money straight. Yeah, you got your best weapon straight away, and then you breezed through the missions with the best weapon. Mm. With this one, uh, Syndicate, you you're required to get skills to level up, and you can only have weapons when you're a certain level. So there's no chance of you firing up the game, ex exploiting some glitch in the game where you can get the most amount of money the fastest, getting the best weapon, and then finding the campaign really easy you, mm. you just can't do it you've got to play it and and progress um so they've they've kind of ironed out the kinks the backstory of being outside the animus is just pointless i don't even know why they're including it anymore because <laughs> i mean for this one you're some sort of drone i think isn't you i mean, just hovering yes. about watching over it's sean weird. and rebecca and it's just yeah it's just weird and it's not needed anymore for me i just they should never have had it in the first place. It should yeah. have just been a, a They're memory. They're trying to keep uh, you know, the like... outside Animus gameplay, like uh, when they had Desmond roaming around the city and stuff. They're trying to yeah, make that whole well. thing. Yeah, but you, you don't actually play outside the Animus in this. Oh, you it's just, just see the cutscene. Yeah, it's just a cutscene. You're just oh, a wow. hovering drone, and it's it's just not needed. It's, okay. it's just a long ass cutscene, really. Um. Any other games that you would like to see for Christmas? Um, I wouldn't mind Need for Speed. Yeah, I, the I, later, I, I thought, you know, I've been a big fan of the Need for Speed series, especially the last few, Hot Pursuit, um, Rivals, The Run, you know, they were all good games in my opinion. So I thought, oh, this one, it's not a lot different though. It's gone back towards yeah. the old feel of the Need for Speed games, but the customization is beyond any car game I've seen for a long time. Right. Yeah, I mean, I jumped on the closed beta with you for a little while, and I'm, I'm not a fan of racing games, so it's very hard for me to go, oh, this is a good racing game, because I don't play enough of them to compare. Mm. But personally, I don't think they've really changed it up enough. And I know there's not a lot you can change with a racing game, the cars driving around the streets. But I do like the customization. I just don't think that it's 
accessible to everyone. I don't think everyone's going to understand how to customize their car um, yeah. to get the best performance. Like you can increase the, the dampness on the shocks and things like that. Oh, if you've got shit. a fourteen-year-old playing on it, yeah, and he's not going to understand got a clue about it. cars exactly. And then his, oh, his car's wow. going to drive like a piece of shit. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great to customise your <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's great to customise your cars, but if you don't understand it, then it could be a massive failure for a, a lot of a lot of gamers that are going to buy it. Mm. Um, but I can I can see it doing okay. It's it's got some strange cutscenes in it where it's actually real yeah, people. It's built into the, it's built in like the transition there's no loading screen yeah it's okay. quite fluid like it's real people and then you'll see your animated car it's not a real car it's the car you're driving around and it would be parked in the garage and real people will be walking by it <laughs> which is kind of different and yeah. it looks pretty good to be fair all right um but yeah, will it be christmas number one probably not but i probably, probably think yeah. it'll do quite well Okay, that's that's the Christmas games list. Don't buy any of these games. <laughs> <laughs>